Hello everyone, welcome, and for those of you returning, welcome back. Today, I'm doing some exploration, looking for new spots, and if you can of tell, I'm by a lake, and it's really windy today. Alright, so I'm not going to be talking for very long because you probably can't hear me anyways, but this is a new location I haven't been to before. The rocks here are sedimentary. They are highly tilted from tectonics and highly faulted. There are a couple fault lines that run through the area, mainly normal fault lines from uh, extension tectonics. So if you remember in older videos, I've talked about the metamorphic core complex. As that complex rose, it pushed everything out of the way. So all these sedimentary rocks got shoved out of the way and they normal faulted and made basins. Anyways, I haven't been here before. And the reason why I came here was this looked like a good area, ge uh, geologically speaking. Also, there's some historical mines here, and one of the mines produced a good amount of gold and silver, lead, and copper, and zinc. They got about six to thirteen million dollars worth of gold out of this mine. However, what I've discovered from coming here is most of the areas are private property, and there are two claims here, so I'm going to have to be careful where I go because I'm pretty limited to uh, what I can access here. So I'm going to find what I can and uh, I'll show you guys whatever I find. So today is probably not going to be too exciting and it'll probably be a shorter video too, but nice scenery. It's not too bad of a day, so let's see what I can find. All right, so as I said, sedimentary rock. So what we have here I believe is a mafic dike or silt that is in the sedimentary formation here. So on the geologic maps, they mention that there are multiple ultramafic sills or dikes that cut through the surrounding rock and they're associated with quartz veins in the area. Now in certain locations, these mafic dikes have been associated with gold mineralization and they have found gold here, so maybe this is why, potentially. Not always, but maybe. So if you look, if I can, you'll see there's little stringers that go through here. And then here you have the host rock that's mixed with some other quartz. And if I come over here, you got a little stringer vein that runs through here. So this is the host rock, the sedimentary, the sedimentary rock. You got a little quartz stringer coming through here. And then over here you have your mafic your mafic rock, which is an igneous intrusive rock. And you'll see you have some more right here. Here we have more quartz stringers running through the rock. You see that? And then here is the large vein of quartz. Very large outcrop. There we go. Hopefully you can hear me now. I'm kind of out of the wind. But this is, uh, this is the quartz vein, this whole unit here, with some intermixed sedimentary rock. And I believe this is the fault zone. So when you get faulting, you get fractures, and those fractures can fill with fluids, like silica-rich water. And any metals that are in there will get trapped with the silica when it uh, solidifies into quartz. So you get these big quartz veins that run through the fractures, usually in a fault zone. So if you have multiple fault zones, you can potentially have a very rich area. Now here's more of the quartz. Exciting. Now, I don't know if you can see this. Zoom in a little bit here. Just under the water, you got this greener rock with some stringers of quartz. Ah, oh, God! Of course, when I'm trying to show you the lake and the wind, you do not want to cooperate. But here we have some greener rocks. I can't tell if this green rock is part of the... Ah! Oh, getting wet. Anyway, I can't tell if that rock there is sedimentary rock or if it's part of the mafic, mafic rock. But it's very green in color and there are quartz strainers coming across it, so... Right there. Look, this is the quartz fan nice size one. Let's move on. 
Nice little uh, right here is just barely going. Now, a lot of the mines are way up on the other side of the mountain, but maybe there's some stuff that washed down here. That'd be nice. Stringers. Check this out. Again, I haven't been here before, so I have no idea what to what I'm gonna find. Looks like a little vein of some sort. And some quartz. That's what I want to see. Maybe there's a vein up here. Some more. Now you can see how tilted the strata is in the sedimentary rock. You can see all the bed planes are pretty much pointed almost at a 90 degree angle. Here. That looks like a, yep, right here we got a big chunk of quartz. So there's got to be a vein up here somewhere. Let's work our way across. Or up the log, the log, without falling off, of course, you know. Nice little pool right there. Looks like some quartz right there on that rock. I notice here the bed planes are not as steep as they once were just downstream so I might have crossed over a fault or there is a fold here and as you go downstream it just kind of folds more at a steeper angle. Gonna go on up through here. That could be a potential nice little pocket. I'm just going to keep on going upstream, see what happens. Maybe there's a, a mine up here or something. Looks like someone dug. There's a little hole. Oh, yeah, this is cool. Big bedrock right through here. Got all kinds of little crevices. Got this big little canyon through here. Some deep pools. Goes up a ways. I don't think I'm gonna go any any further up. Got some more quartz. <clears throat> oh, look at that! Almost looks like it had some quartz crystals going on right there. Yeah, looks like a whole bunch of crystals that grew together and then eventually they sealed off. Some green rock right there. Little pocket. Big rock here. Oh wow. Got some crystals. See that? A little crystal pocket with some small little quartz crystals. See that face right there? Man, I wish I could find the source of the quartz. A nice big chunk. It's got little nodules in there. Or little voids. Like uh, some pirates or something were falling out of this. But it's more of that quartz with the... Uh, they have a name for this, of course. But it's the sealed off crystals. It's all the crystals that completely grew together and uh, formed a solid quartz vein. Very buggy looking. See how well I can get down the mountain while carrying a camera, you guys, and all of these quartz rocks I found. This should be fun.
I want to see if there's any pyrites or something in here. Um, I imagine they'll be pretty weathered out. That's what it looks like, but it's worth a shot. I don't want to break this one. I might keep the crystal crystals on that one. This one has some too right there. Some crystals, but let's break it open and see what's in it. There's a perfect little quartz crystal right there. Right there. That doesn't look natural. Neither does the hillside. It doesn't look quite right. I mean, there is a road up there, so maybe it's all pushed over from the road. We have some, uh, oh, look at this. Big quartz vein right here. Still in the, still in the rock. Some more quartz. Looking at this hillside though. Oh, look at that. This isn't natural. All right, I know for sure that that's not natural. That is definitely man-made. Rock wall here. A mine. And of course it's blocked off. And I don't think it even matters that it's blocked off because it's caved in. Either it caved in naturally or they did that on purpose. Got some uh, rail iron here. It's a little bit of green right there. See that? Ooh, I want to show you guys this. I see the waves in that rock? Those are current ripples. From uh, the current, because this is sedimentary rock. So this rock used to be sediment in pretty shallow waters at one time. So the wave action on the surface made some current, rim current uh, ripples. So I just found this rock. I'll show you where I got it in a second, but it looked like quartz, but at the same time it didn't seem very uh, quartzy to me. Somewhere right here, somewhere. Ah, right there. That could be quartz, maybe. However, this looked like uh, some calcium carbonate, otherwise known as calcite. And put a little bit of acid on it and I'll show you what it does. If I can get the lid off. They're uh, childproof. There we go. This is why it can be handy to have some acid with you. Because if I put just a little bit on here, maybe right on the corner. See that? Foamed right up. So, got a little bit of calcium carbonate, some calcite. So this is where it came from, right here. Found it on the slope. It's a whole layer of it. Goes back in there. It's an outcrop of uh, rock right up there. And look at all the stuff that came down. I think there might be some quartz veins up there. Some stringers going through that. Oh no, it broke off. There was a crystal point. Well, I've made my way up this hill. Not seen any stringers yet. I gotta be careful. There's a couple of small little stringers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
little small ones. A couple little stringers right here, and then we got some thicker stringers. That might be some vein right there. <laughs> it's very steep. Got some cords. Oh my. I'd say it's a little steep. Well, this is gonna do it for today. Didn't really find too much, but all the areas I wanted to go to were private property and mining claims, so. And that's where all the rich stuff is. And that's probably why I didn't find anything, because I was just going around the edges and seeing if I could find any leftovers, but there's not really too much to be found here, just some quartz and a couple crystals. And uh, there might be some stuff in the streams though, because those streams run off from where the mines are. Even though this wasn't the most exciting thing, I hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you all next time. Take care.